Hey guys, Hermit here from Photo Insomnia and today I'm going to show you my fastest way to import pictures into Lightroom. Um, if you're frustrated with Lightroom and how long it takes to import your pictures then this is the video for you. I've been using Lightroom for the past 10 years and I have to say it just gets slower and slower. No matter how fast our computers are getting, the Lightroom seems to be going the other way. Um, I'm using the latest iMac with SSD drives in it, so the processing and uh, import should be really quick. I've got external hard drives, which are USB 3 hard drives, where I store all my imported pictures. So there is really no excuse for Lightroom to be slow, but it is. And Adobe doesn't seem to care, they don't seem to want to fix it, um, they just expect people to live with it. So let me show you how I import my pictures in Lightroom at lightning fast speed. Once I've plugged in the memory card, I'll open the folder where I have all my pictures. So these are all the pictures that I shot and I want to import. <clears throat> I will open a new finder window or explorer if you're on a Windows machine. Then navigate to the drive where you store all your photos. So I'm putting them in this drive called Photos in this year's folder. And then I will create a subfolder here, which is for 04, which is April. And um, this was Zenith Beach. So once I have created this folder, I'm going to open this, go back here. Control A or Command A depending on Mac or PC and I'm going to make sure all the features are selected as you can see here 244 of 244 great just gonna drag these across and copy them now this is using a super fast card reader which um, is able to copy all the images quickly onto a hard drive that's a USB 3 hard drive so again, um, the hardware does have uh, an important role to play in the import process, but still you can see to copy 244 objects or images, it's fairly quick. Uh, we're almost halfway through, um, or oh, actually more than halfway through, we're almost done. So this is less than a minute probably, and then I'll be able to import this into Lightroom very quickly. What I'm going to do is in the meantime, because Lightroom will take a while to import, I'm going to launch it so it starts to load. <coughs> uh, yes, we will update next time. I'm going to go to library. I'm going to go to this drive. So I have two ways of importing those images. Just make sure that's all done. Yes, it's finished. Great. Two ways to import. First way is I can right click on the parent folder. So my subfolder here is this folder called Zenith Beach. It sits in the 2015, uh, 2017, sorry, folder. I will import by synchronizing folders and you'll see it'll see 200 something photos, 202. Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> There's probably some other files that uh, are there in that memory card. So these are the 200 photos that it's going to import. So I can hit synchronize and it will import all those photos and the subfolder will show up here. The other way obviously is to do a standard import which is import photos and videos. Instead of doing a copy I'm going to add. It's looking at this card at the moment which is not what we want. So I'll navigate to my folder here on the left hand side and it's this one called Zenith Beach. I'm going to add this. You see, because it's a local drive to the computer, it's already moved that selection to add. It's no longer saying copy as it was saying for the EOS digital card. So here are all the pictures. Now, the original set of pictures that I had copied were RAW and JPEGs because I shot them in that mode. But these are all RAWs with their JPEGs attached are obviously there but they won't be imported. So I'm going to import them with the build preview embedded inside card only. Um, I want this to happen quickly. 
develop preset if I want to apply a standard preset during the import process I can in this case I won't apply anything I'll add some metadata here I'll add my name and this way uh, travel travel photography Zenith Beach Port Stephens there we go been there before Nelson Bay seascapes landscapes <clears throat> those are the keywords I want to apply to all these images hit import and watch the magic happen here 25 50 100 122 that took less than five seconds <clears throat> all my 122 pictures are there and it, you can see also that lightroom has detected the uh, raw plus jpeg so it's seeing the jpegs as well in the folders um although they won't show up twice i don't want that that's the setting that i've turned off so they don't show up twice which is useless um so here are all my pictures i can now double click any of these go to the develop module and I can start to tweak any of the settings that I want. Highlights, shadows, um, whites, and blacks. So that's pretty much it. That's my workflow for importing very quickly. And uh, I find it it's lightning fast um, doing the import this way. Um, I do not use the standard way of Lightroom, which is from here to import from the card because it's generally very, very slow. All right, there you go. That's my straightforward workflow for importing fairly quickly all of my images from the memory card into Lightroom so I can get started with editing them straight away without having to wait forever to Lightroom for Lightroom to do its thing. I hope that was helpful. Hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the future videos. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.